Andre is into brown ladies. Is into nyash. What's your favorite position? 69. Come on, come on. Hi, this is Andrew. Uh, but most people call me Andelia because it's my username. So basically here to look for to look for love, to find love, yeah, to look for a person I'm going to spend the rest of my life with. And I hope my my sister and the husband will hopefully look for get a perfect match for me. In today's matchmaking episode, we have Brandon and Hajar, a married couple who are here to find love for their little brother. Oh my God, it's gonna be so cute, guys. Stay tuned. Making episode, we have tasked Brandon and Hajara to three rounds of, well, trying to select the perfect girl for their little brother. I mean, guys, come on, come on now. So the first round is gonna be vetting, where they're gonna have to decide which girls qualify to be in the next round, which is dating. That's right, they get to go on dates with this lovely gentleman. And finally, selecting, where they get to decide which girl they think is most worthy of their brother's love and gets to be maybe his potential suitor in life. We don't really know about that part. But anyways, let's get into it. Let's go. Hi guys, I'm Tana. Hi, I'm Rachel. Hi guys, I'm Winnie. Hi, I'm Agnes. Hi everybody, I'm Brandon. And I'm Hajar. And we are the Abbots. Mm -hmm. And today we're here to match find make. match make for My our brother, brother. Andrew. Mm -hmm. uh, and what type of woman you think would go good for Andrew, babe? Andrew is into brown ladies, he's into Nyash. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, we're looking for someone that can balance him out. Balance him out. Someone who could actually go out, but not be like a party girl. Right. Yeah, someone who could balance both um, very well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did, is there something else Andrew would like? Uh, dance. Da she has to be able to dance. Andrew <laughs> likes to dance. He's a good dancer. And a joker. Andrew is a joker. And Andrew is a fun person. Yeah. So someone who can joke or and have fun. Someone who is really just because all parting aside, and Andrew loves his gold. Does this sister know her brother enough? And better yet, does her husband know him at all to be able to select a girl for him? Hmm. Let's find out. Okay, guys, so for the first time on the show, Brandon and Hajara get to actually meet the four contestants that we have on the show who are trying to find, you know, potential love with Andrew. So, guys, you're here to find love for Andrew. Yes. Thanks. Am I right? Thanks. Are you ready to get to know these ladies? Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah? Okay, yeah. shall we start with girl number one then? Yeah. Okay, so girl number one, what would you guys like to know about her? I uh, would like to know your name, what you do for a living. Hey, I'm Winnie. I'm 24. I just completed university. And currently I'm working with Prudential Assurance Company. And I'm a model for party time. Ah. Oh, okay. Very nice. I'm a jolly person and I'm so social. So like when I go somewhere, I need someone who is social as well. I don't like someone who is boring. Yeah. And are you boring? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> so what are you looking for? Planning like to get married? Do you want children right away? What's your, what's your plan? What are you looking for in this day? Well, my plan is if I find someone, I get time to know each other because you know you can't. You know, marriage is a lifetime commitment, and you need someone to take time to come up to like to come up with. A decision passed so just in case i get someone i need to first get to know the person know his dislikes and likes then with time maybe we go introduce to our parents like make parents aware of our relationship maybe afterwards if we connect marriage then do you have a question for her baby um what is a unique quality that you would say you have about yourself Okay, I would say my personality or character. I like being me, I don't like faking around. I just want to be me and I need someone to be them, not faking around. Right. Yeah. Yep. 
Okay. Okay. Then Good. are you guys impressed so far? Are you yeah. satisfied? Yeah. All right. Shall we move on to ground number yeah. two? Yeah. Yeah. Ground number two, please step forward. I would like to know the same thing because everyone I would like to know you, you, what you do, your name, and uh, just intro, a little bit of introduction about yourself. Hi, I'm Rachel. I've just completed my degree at MOOBS. Currently, I'm not working, but I part time as a model too. Yes. Uh, do you do you believe in extended family? Because we are a big family, me and my brother, and we are really close. Sometimes it would bother my husband <laughs> because we are too close. So would it bother you if I'm dancing with my brother, doing things? they will be like, oh, that's not what a sister, a brother would do. Not really. I would be fine with it because I know where you live. I know your limit. Yeah. Yes. Do you have a question? Uh, what do you like to do for fun when you're not working? Like as a hobby or something? Ah, I love partying. Yeah. Yes. And I love dancing. Ah, that's yes. good. good. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Yeah. I'm interested to know. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. How would you feel if your sibling was out here trying to find love for you? <laughs> it would be very amazing. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, you know, that's... If, she, if she's my sibling, eh, uh -huh. that would be so amazing. Why? Mm -hmm. You know, that shows the extended love eh, yeah. towards me. Oh, that's so sweet. Are you guys content so far? Yeah. Shall we move on or do you still have more questions? How old are you, Shifa? I'm 23 years. Okay. Oh, All right. Thank you, girl number two. Girl number three. I'm Agnes. I'm a nurse by profession. I have a diploma in comprehensive nursing. So I work as a, a midwife and at the same time as a nurse. I'm currently pursuing a, a bachelor's degree in medical radiography, medical radiography, Makerele University. So I do some part of agriculture, farming. I love music. I'm a fun person, and I love making friends, meeting new people. What I don't like, I don't like people who are not open-minded. Like, being open, it's something which is so good to me, opening up your heart to me and telling me what is about yourself. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, I was wondering, you said that you were a nurse. Uh, does that make your schedule pretty busy or hectic? Do you have free time if you were to get into a relationship? Of course, because I don't think that being a nurse can limit me from my, doing my other life things like family, because also nurses, we love families, we have love. So we, we of course have to spare time for our families, for the people we love. Not all the time that we are on wards, caring for other people. We also find time to care for the people we do love. Okay. Now, do you believe in sharing bills or you want him to take fully take care of you? <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm a, a working person. I also earn something. Why should it be a problem of sharing bills? We have to share. You don't yes. ask for transport money. <laughs> 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 he feels that he can give me that money, Sorry. it's fine. But I, I don't think that at any time I can beg for transport money from him yeah. because I, I also have something. I earn my money. So okay. we can be supporting each other in any way. That's good. Okay. Yeah. okay. Are you guys impressed? So yeah. Far? yeah. I feel like we really stepped up the game on yeah. this one, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. So are we ready for girl number four? Yeah. Okay, girl number four, please step forward. <laughs> Hi, I'm Klana. I'm 20 years and uh, I got uh, a diploma in law and uh, this is my fourth year at uh, all this year. So I'm going to get a degree and uh, in my free time I think uh, I love being with people. I love uh, putting a smile on someone's face. I love kids so much. I, I think I adopted two kids. I love them so much. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So uh, I, I like uh, giving my partner time. Um, if I have a partner, I'd, uh, a third person who love giving my partner time, though family comes first, even if work comes at sometimes, but not all the time. Yeah, so you get some time and be like, this is time for my partner and this is time for work. Work is work and family is a family. Yeah. So you mentioned that you adopted two kids. 
Uh, do you find that hard sometimes when you're dating a new guy and you're trying to get him to accept the kids? Is there any problems with that or? I don't have any problem with that as long as the person accepts that I have kids and uh, we can stay together as a family. That's mm -hmm. not my problem. Yeah. Okay. You said you love kids. So are you planning to have children yeah, very soon? Yeah, I would soon? have one maybe. Pardon? I love to have one or two more than two. How as soon? As the time goes. How soon? Any, as long as I get up, someone who understands me and uh, everything that I do. What do you do for fun? What I do for fun, uh, mostly, uh, I love uh, music. I'm not good at partying. You're not good at partying? No, yeah, I'm not good at that. Though oh. I do most sometimes, not all the time. Okay, one last question. Do you mind, um, do you prefer like some religion or you're open to any religion? Sorry? Are you open to any religion or it's um, your, your intent? I'm open to any religion and uh, I can, I'm that person who's ready to change for my part, to my partner's religion. Really? Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, ladies. Wow. Ah, girl, guys, th that's like a lot of information right now, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Right? So I'm going to ask you, Andrew Festival, how do you <clears throat> feel about this potential candidates? Are you yourself, are you ready to put yourself out there to find love? Yeah, basically, I'm ready to pick a lover today. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited and sometimes nervous. Yeah. You know what it is. I can imagine. And mm. what do you hope to accomplish today? Are you just looking for like a girlfriend, maybe a long term partner, just vibes, which is also perfectly fine, a friend, or maybe something that could lead to marriage? Uh, I think I think a friend that can lead to marriage because you know, uh, getting someone to stay with for the rest of your life mm. comes with a lot of things. And so yeah. I think someone that will lead us to marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can imagine. So, Brandon and Hajar, you guys have met our lovely ladies today and you've heard a little bit about them. Now I'm going to ask you guys to take some time off to kind of deliberate your answers and discuss who you would want to send home. All right. Uh, now that we've had a chance to actually see the ladies and hear a little bit from them, we've actually decided not to make any cuts this round. We want to see how they're going to vibe together when they go on the dates. And off of the dates, we'll decide uh, on the first cut. Yeah, we want to, sh to see the emotional part, how they connect with him. So uh, we would like him to go on these dates and we can't judge from their, how they connect. and. Yeah. How do you vibe together? All the vibes. All about the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hi, how are you? I'm called Andrew. I'm most spoke of me and Hi, I'm Klana. Klana, nice name. Thank you. So where do you start from? Tell me about yourself. Um, as I had said before, uh, I'm 20. I stay in New York. Oh, that's cool. That's all? And uh, um, I think I was born alone. I don't have any siblings. Yeah, and uh, I still uh, my parents are not around, but I do cope up with the situation. Oh, are they in the country or out of the country? No, they're out of the country. Out of the country? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, so what do you do for fun? What do I do for fun? Sometimes I do go out. Do go out? Yeah, I do. That's nice. That's all? Just go out? Yeah, I do out. I love music. I don't care uh, what kind of music, but as long as it's music. Oh, as long as it's music. Well, well, basically me, I like reggae music, I like the Rastafari movement, so I feel good listening to reggae music. Oh, that's nice of you. Yeah, so, what makes you unique, Klan Klan? And, uh, What makes me unique, uh, I think, is my personality and uh, me and me myself. I I don't compare myself to someone else because I know comparison is a thief of joy. Wow, that's nice. You have a high self esteem. That's good. Yes, yeah, so I don't really compare myself to someone else. I'm me. So, Clara, yeah, mm, tell me about the kids you adopted, the two kids you adopted. Yeah, uh, what's, what's, what's really inspired you? Or where did you get the passion to adopt kids? What inspired me to adopt kids? I grew up alone. I didn't grow up with my mom. I think uh, 
I grew up with mates most of the times and uh, I had a neighbor's child, he likes me so much. So I was like, maybe I can get some. Since oh. it's not yet my time to have my own. So how do you balance the books and taking care of the kids? Because you're I not married. I do take care of them. I'm not married, but uh, they have uh, their own apartment where they stay and they have their take carers. So that's how I do my own. And I do my own things. They're all like, they're both on your bill or something? What do you do for yeah, they're both, living? both on my bill. What do you do for a living? And uh, uh, my... Because earlier told me you're studying, you're doing law. Yeah, I'm doing law. Because they have, so that's, that means you have to, uh, what, a burden of tuition, then taking care of the kids you adopted. This is my pioneer, but uh, my dad and my mom, they help me sometimes. Your dad and mom? Yeah. You are not around, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted to ask, do you mind my family checking up your wallet and why? Sorry? Do you mind my family checking up your wallet and why? I mind because that's, that's it's supposed to be confidential, it's supposed to be me and you. Like, it's my wallet. Why would you, why would you check my wallet? Well, we think that the date was okay. Uh, but we wish that she was a little bit more transparent about her situation. I mean, she's 20, she has two kids, she doesn't work, she goes to school. How does she, how does that all that work? What did you think, babe? Yeah, I think she was not really open enough because you, if you're 20, you have two kids. You're studying law at 20, that's already too much. So if you are done, she say she's renting an apartment and having caretakers for those two kids. Mm -hmm. So if you're not even saying what you're doing, how are you managing to pay for those things? And if you're 20, you're not read mentally, emotionally to, ready to have all those responsibilities. Yeah, that's a lot going I mean, on. I'm 27 and I can't. <laughs> you leave my sister leaves my kid to babysit them, and by the end of the day, yeah. I want someone to adopt them. Like, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired right. already. So for her to be juggling all Jug that. Yeah, and doing law at the same time, and you're 20 years old. Yeah, so we just wish she had a better explanation on how she's handling all that. All of that, and what exactly does she do? For you to have the, those responsibilities, and for your parents to be taking over, because she said the parents help out. So if you, you decide to have that kind of responsibility and then you th wish or like you decide for your parents to be even taking care of your responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So I think by the time you have, you have said, I, I have this responsibility, you should be able to manage it. Don't expect people to help you manage your responsibility. Right. You choose for yourself. So I think it's not a good match for my brother. My brother needs some. Hi, how are you? I'm okay, how are you? Okay, I'm called Andrew, how about you? I'm Rachel. Rachel, nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. Rachel, where do you stay? I stay in Mitunga, and you? I stay in Chola today. So, can you tell me about yourself in brief? In brief, I'm Rachel, 20 years old. I've just completed my bachelor's degree in business administration. That's all? Yeah. All right, I'm also Andrew. Um, SDA, well, SDA guy here, Prince Okay. And then, I'm a social media influencer and a digital manager for some brands. Uh, that's it basically. I like going out, like I'm a social person, I like making jokes, I like laughing. So what do you do for a living? How, pardon? What do you do for a living? What, what, for a living? Mm, how, how do you survive? How do I survive? Mm. Mm, like recently I've been doing, running some errands at campus, but enable me to get some money, small money mm -hmm. that can help me run my bills. Yeah, how about you? As I told you, I'm social media influencer, digital media, that's, that's, all. that's how I survive on a daily basis. So now, Aaron, is it mod modeling or which, which, what do you do exactly at campus? Like currently, I've been clearing, clear, doing clearance Very for good. students who are going to graduate. Oh, yeah. That's good. That's good. Do you do you normally go out? I usually do. Oh yeah, do you normally go? Ah, uh, Bandadi. Bandadi, right? Yeah. That type of place. Mm. So, um, do you have any questions for me? It's for now. It's for now. Eh? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. Mm. Are you like for the first time? Eh? How many girls have you dated so far? Dating or I ask about dating or body count? 
not body count, date. date. Yeah. I've been in three relationships. Okay. Yes. How was the experience? Because the experience was in bad, but mm-hmm. as we do mistakes in life, or we get a lesson to learn from each mistake we make. So I'm sure what made me lose uh, the from my last relationships, yeah. I learned from that that I'm sure this relationship is going to be fine and hope to lead me to marriage at some point. What do you expect in this relationship? Of course, to take me to marriage. Well, I feel that date was very interesting. Um, I think that they were both very shy, maybe because they have a little bit of a crush on each other. I don't know. But uh, what do you think, babe? Yeah, I saw my brother out of words for the first time. He was not saying saying anything. But um, about the girl, what she does, she was not really specific because she said she used to say, I don't know what she does now or oh, she's mm. not working since she just finished school. But I don't think I would want someone who doesn't work to date my brother. He's still young. They need someone to share, like, not like this one-sided. Right. Yeah, I want someone who is working for him. But I'm not sure that we should cut her yet. No. Because I think I think that they were secretly they have a, a crush on each other. That's just, why they were so yeah. shy, so quiet. And so, so quiet. I still want to see what's going to happen with those two. So we're going to yeah, keep her for now. Yeah, we still want to keep her. That's yeah. just my concern. Hi, how are you? I'm called Andrew, but most people call me Adele. Hi, I'm good. How are you too? I'm called Winnie Ashton. Have you been in a relationship before? Oh, yeah. this is going to be I've been in a long time relationship before, just one. Just one relationship? Yeah, because I started dating at campus. I grew up in Noah. My father was too protective and I didn't get a chance dating as I was young. Mm-hmm. So when I moved away from my home, that's when I started dating at campus. Oh, wow. That's yeah. good. So what failed it? What failed your past relationship or your family relationship? I think time came, no communication, attention. Yeah. Oh, well, at least so, I try times and times to make it work. I understand. So what's your ideal man? Like, what do you look up between in a man? Well, in the first place, the man has to be God-fearing, number one. Secondly, he has to be respectful, a man who respects me, and a man who can trust me. You know, there are these men, all the time, they won't settle because their woman is not with them. I want someone who trust me you know when there is trust of course you're at peace but that's being i think that's being insecure you bring that you bring up the reason why the man doesn't trust you but anyway you have any questions for me yes okay, okay. i was asking you what are those qualities you would need in your ideal woman my ideal woman i love a woman who is submissive to me first of all mm-hmm. as long as i protect mm-hmm. and care for you mm. and provide for you because that's my responsibility as a man. So are as a the, woman, you have to be submissive to me. Are you the jealous type? Of course. <laughs> who, who, who is not je- who, like, Of course. I know everyone has to be jealous, yeah. but there are times, okay, it is not bad to be jealous because when you want someone, because you don't want to see them being taken away from you, but sometimes it becomes too, too much and... No. Mm, well, it depends because on the situation, where would you go out without me? If, if there's a situation where a girl goes out, mm-hmm. then parties with other men, gives them rubs, everything. That would make me jealous, first of all. Another thing, when a woman drinks alcohol and they go out without me, the man, I'm mm-hmm. the one who's supposed to, pro, to protect you in case of anything. Mm-hmm. I know what alcohol does to, to women. It's like a pantry mover. Yeah. So that's all. That's a, with that reason, I have to be jealous. If it's going out, we have to go together. So, uh, what turns you off? On the very first time you see the person, what turns you off? My turn off. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm a new a lot. I hate people who talk a lot. <laughs> I, did, I hate people who lie to me. That's a total turn off to me. Um, I thought that was a good date. Um, I liked her a lot. She was very engaging. Uh, she wouldn't let Andrew be quiet or shy. Yeah. She like pulled pulled information out of him. So I like that part. She kept it interesting. 
Yeah, I think we are keeping her. She was really interesting. Yeah. She knew, she knows what exactly she wants and she was asking what she needed to know. So I liked her confidence. Yes. And, yeah. She sounded like she she doesn't second guess herself or anything. So yeah. I like that about her. Yeah, and she's very pretty. I like the shoot here she's having. Mm -hmm. yeah, and she's a brown lady. That's Andre's type. Yeah, she's a keeper. <laughs> she's a keeper. So <laughs> we'll see how it goes, how he feels about it. But it, 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 she's good. Yeah. Hi, hi. I'm good. How are you? I'm okay. I'm called Andrew. How I'm Agnes. You? So, how about what's what makes what do you do for fun? I love music. Mm. I love partying. Which kind of music do you listen to? Raga. <laughs> I'm a lag person, yeah, I like lag. That's all, eh? Yeah. yeah. Well, me, I listen to reggae music. Oh. I like being a Rastafari. So, do you have any questions for me? Yes. Please go ahead. Uh, what kind of, what unique qualities would you like in a woman? In a woman, mm -hmm. as I said earlier, I want, I want a submissive woman. I would, I would not tell me I'm a Uganda man, but okay. grew up in Uganda, in central region. Mm -hmm. uh, like, I want a woman who is submissive to me, who listens to me, who who doesn't get into arguments with me every time, who respects me. That's the only thing I think I need from a woman. Okay. Yeah. What will make you so pissed off with your woman? Or... Um, when they lie to me, I hate a woman who lies to me. Okay. I really hate a woman who tells lies because I'm your man, I provide for you, I protect for you. Why would you lie to me? What if someone is lying to save you from something, save you from bad emotions? Then that would be a good lie because there are, there are the types of lies. How will you know that it's good though? There's a good lie, there's a bad lie. Because, yeah, because think... the fact that it's protect me from something, then that's a good lie. But generally, I don't want people who, people who lie to me. Okay. So that's it. What's so unique about you? Mm -hmm. I'm an honorable person. Like I'm honorable respectful i respect women and i think i'm very confident and I'm, i won't say i'm funny but i like making jokes like 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 laughing around okay, people that is nice yeah that's nice yeah so could you tell me about your sex life like what's your favorite position sorry what's your favorite position like sex life in bedroom <laughs> i think so funny. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny? <laughs> you told me. You and I did. Right. Okay. Right. Uh, I like 69. What? Come on. It's a crazy position for me. I like it. You like it? Eh? Yeah. So would you go down on me if I request you? Of course. When you're clean enough, it's fine. What do you mean by clean? If I'm I talking don't like dirty everything? things. No. Because why would you be dirty? Smelling. <laughs> why would you smell dirt? Do you, do there, are there people who smell? Yes. Wow, I didn't know Some that. Some people's hygiene is so, so, so weird. Wow, I didn't know that because I've never met one. Yeah, date number four was really nice. I, I like her. She has her life put together. She has a uh, farming thing going on. I don't know about farming with Andrew here. <laughs> I like the chemistry that they had. It was a good date. Uh, I liked how Andrew, he took charge in this date. So it went well. I, I think they had good chemistry. I think they balanced each other out. Yeah, they yeah. balanced each other. Hopefully she takes him to the farm. Andrew doesn't like it. Yeah. Make, take, put him to work. Yeah. But it was a good date. She she has her thing put together. She knows mm -hmm. what she wants. And she has all, her life all figured it out. So I like her. Yeah, we like her. Yeah, we do. All right, so this is the tough decision we have to make. Yeah. But I think we are going to cut the first two dates and we're going to keep the last two dates. Uh, we, I think we just feel that the last two dates had better chemistry, better yeah. interaction. Mm -hmm. And the first two dates, the chemistry wasn't really there. So that's our reason for making those cuts. Yeah, we are cutting the first two dates because um, I think during the dates when they were talking, there was more connection with the last two uh, women. Mm -hmm. So I think we are going to keep the last two girls and see how it goes. Yeah, I'm excited to see who wins. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Who's going to be my in-law? <laughs> <laughs>
we have finally reached the climax of this show where we have seen all these beautiful ladies go on a date with Andrew. And guys, I have to ask Andrew real quick, first of all. Andrew, how are you feeling that you went on all these dates? I feel excited because I had an interruption with each, each date I had. And I'm nervous about the first one they are going to choose for. Okay, but are you confident that they know exactly what you're looking for in a partner and they'll be able to get you an ideal woman? Yeah, I'm confident. You are, yeah? Okay, cool. Now I'm going to ask Brandon and Hajar. You guys have seen so many different dates today. Yeah. How did you feel watching your brother on these dates? Were you not like, ew, I can't believe he said that? Or like, oh my God, does this boy have any game whatsoever? <laughs> So, how did you feel watching your brother go on all these dates? I was surprised. Uh -huh. I was surprised. I wasn't expecting him to be shy, but yeah. after the shyness, you know, faded away, I saw the real Andrew. So mm -hmm. he came through at the end. Yeah. yeah. What about you, Hajar? The whole thing just disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe this. I always thought my brother had game, but hell no. <laughs> 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 oh, no. I thought he had game, but... <laughs> That's so... Well, I, I mean, I personally, I think he did really well. Andrew, hats off to you. I mean, you you knew that they were watching, so it's understandable that you must have felt so uncomfortable. But we've finally reached the reveal, and we're about to find out which of these two ladies you guys think is the most compatible for your brother now. Ladies, you went on these dates. I have to ask you guys, how do you feel about the entire interaction? Well, it was fun. Actually, I just loved how the conversation with you. I just mm -hmm. loved everything, yeah. Yeah. What yeah. about you? It has been so exciting and amazing. Mm -hmm. He's such a good person, I didn't know. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so who of you thinks this is your man? You're taking this guy home. <laughs> tonight me oh no hesitation <laughs> are you intimidated by that actually it is someone's choice so mm -hmm. i don't have any choice mm -hmm. you have to understand even if yeah. when i say me or what the person has to be having their own choice yeah and i'm ready to respect the choice oh that yeah. is lovely i love that that's good sportsmanship or in this situation sportswomanship Am I right? Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so we have reached the moment where we're going to ask you guys to tell us before you reveal who you have selected of these two lovely ladies. You're going to tell me why you have chosen this person as a compatible partner for Andrew. Yeah, um, first of all, I would like to say both ladies are really lovely. They, they know what they want. They are both. I love them. I would choose any of them for him. Yeah. But of course, we have a preference. I know what he wants and what he would prefer because he's my brother. So, good luck to both of you. <laughs> yeah, good luck to both of you and may the best lady win. Okay, okay. Yeah. What about you? How do you feel about this, Brandon? I feel good. I, I feel confident with the decision that we've made. So, uh, I think Andrew's going to be happy with the decision we made. Well, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to ask Brandon and Hajra, which lady are you selecting today to be a companion to your brother from this episode? Well, uh, after a long discussion, uh, me, and, me and my wife have decided to go with Miss Winnie. Winnie! <laughs> Congratulations! How are you feeling? You know what? Why don't you go over there and give your man a hug? Come on! Come stand with me! Ow! Oh, Congratulations! Oh. Okay, guys, you can stand over there, please. Alright, okay, so I'm gonna ask now. Um, Winnie, how are you feeling? Nervous. Nervous? Are you excited as well? Yeah, but I'm um, nervous. <laughs> yeah? Is this because you guys have literally skipped like, you know how the normal dates go, the, for the two of you first sit down, talk, and then you meet the family. This time you met the family and then went through everything. So, wow. Are you, are you excited? Yeah, I am. You look like you're in. You're I'm so just shocked. nervous too. Well, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> She's still in shock. She is clearly still in shock. Okay, so um, I'm gonna ask you, Andrew, how do you feel about this choice? Are you happy? <clears throat> of 
course I'm happy and excited and I've been confident of course because uh, uh-huh. they know what I want and they know because okay first and foremost she was confident about everything uh-huh. she's open minded yeah you get what we call this so that's <laughs> okay. our best word to use all right, well, congratulations, guys. Thank you so much for being on this episode. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Pan-African Dating Show. Please make sure to subscribe. Leave a thumbs up if you like this video. Let me know in the comment section who were you guys shipping. Did Brandon and Hajra make a very good decision? Or do you guys think there was someone out here who was better? Or if you're a lucky lady out there, do you think you could be a better fit? Let us know in the comment section. Until then, we'll see you guys. This is Daddy Sims, and I am signing out.